these politicians. Washington special interests. I, I drove trucks. I've been a paper boy. I grew up castrating hogs on an Iowa farm. An estimated $2 billion or more will be spent on political ads for the 2014 midterms. And with the surge of outside money unleashed by the Supreme Court in 2010, we can only expect to see more of these ads going forward. So you might wonder, do these ads even work? TV spot ads for political campaigns date back to 1952. It didn't take long for TV ads to go negative, a trend that's worsening still. An infamous 1964 ad from Lyndon Johnson's campaign suggested his opponent would start a nuclear war. These are the stakes. Johnson soon won in a landslide, but it wasn't because of the ad. He was even further ahead before it aired. These ads can be so vivid and memorable that it's easy to overstate their influence. But studies on whether or not they matter are surprisingly murky. Think about how small the target is. Ads work if they persuade those few Americans who vote but lack political allegiances and also live in a state or a district where the election might be a close call. So it's a hard topic to research. The available studies find limited effects of ads in a few cases, but by one estimate, having a massive ad advantage delivered only a half of a percentage point advantage in vote share in the 2008 presidential election. Ads had an even smaller effect in 2004. In one real-world experiment during the early months of Rick Perry's 2006 governor of re-election campaign, researchers randomly assigned this ad to certain media markets in Texas. I'm proud of Texas. How about you? They conducted a poll afterwards and found stronger support for Perry in the areas that saw the ad, but only during the week it aired. By the following week, the effects had disappeared. They only examined positive ads, though. Might negative ads work better? Found in a strip club. Toasted the Chinese vice president, Obamacare. The most comprehensive review so far concluded that negative ads are more memorable, but hurt the attacker as often as they help. It's not necessarily so irrational, though, that candidates spend so much money on ads. Even if there's no guarantee that ads can swing a race, there's only a few ways a campaign can get its message in front of voters. If the race is close, even half a percentage point might make a difference.